Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge. In this short video, I'm gonna show you a way to get started sculpting really, really quickly according to some problems people are having and hopefully this will help you out. Ready? Let's go. So I'm here in Blender 2.8 and we have these workspaces. So I'm gonna take this guy, okay? And I'm just gonna say I wanna start sculpting on this guy, right? I'm gonna go over here to sculpting and I'm just gonna start trying to sculpt. And you realize that like not much is happening. Okay, if I go over the vertices, you see it's kind of starting to happen. Something's moving, but like nothing is happening. And I've seen people go in and they try doing this and it's frustrating them. Normally, you would start off taking this cube and subdividing it. So you, you would go to hit tab and then you could go to uh, edge and then you can hit subdivide and then you could call up this little menu here and subdivide a lot of it. So if I went and I subdivided this quite a bit, right, say like 10, all right, hit tab, go back into sculpting. Now, if I sculpt on this thing, you'll see that it's actually doing something, right? Because I have, I have geometry on there, all right? And if I look at this, if I go back here to modeling and I look at it, okay, you can see it's all, it's all deformed. And it's nice because it's all still quads and it's deformed nicely. So optimally, you might wanna work this way because everything is still quads. However, there's a nice quick way to start if you don't mind the quad thing, and I like to keep things quads myself, but if you don't mind that, if I go new, right, new scene, and I just wanna start sculpting on this just to play around and get an idea out, I can just hit sculpting. And if I wanted to, cube, I can hit Dyn Topo over here. It stands for dynamic topology. Hit that, hit okay. It goes and checks. And now you'll see like magic, all of your stuff starts sculpting and you're adding a lot to it. It's really, really powerful here. But there is one caveat and I'll show you what that is in a minute. Aside from the fact that this is really cool and with dynamic topology, like all of your tools really work too. So you can do quite a bit really quickly in here. However, okay, you see here that I have, I have symmetry on. You can also turn that off right here. Okay, go to symmetry lock, mirror X, turn that off. It always has X on by default for some reason. So just turn that off. And now you can just sculpt wherever you want and it won't affect anything else. Now, the one caveat that I'm talking about here is that, okay, if I, if I hit tab, you'll see that I'm not, quads anymore now I'm triangles and it's added a bunch of a bunch of topology it's added a bunch of subdivisions but it's not clean anymore so just know that going in that when you use this it is really cool and you can do a whole lot with it but later on you might have to retopologize this which is going to be the subject of another video I'm doing because uh, it's going to be quite a bit longer to explain all that but right here you just know that that it turns this into this big kind of mess now you could go Say I go back to like modeling here, right? And I select all my, all my faces. And I could go up here to face and I could say tries to quad, all right? And it attempts to turn these all back into quads. It, it doesn't do all of them, but it does a, a good amount of them. So it cleans it up a little bit, but just keep that in mind, okay? So the quick way to start sculpting, if you just wanted to go in again, you just go from here, you go to sculpting, you turn on dino or dine topo. I always say dino. I don't know why, maybe like dinosaurs or something. Dine topo, and that'll just start you on your way to sculpting. Okay? So that's a really quick, quick, quick fix, quick video, and hopefully you got something out of it. If you did, hit like, subscribe, hit that little bell notification, and I'll just keep making more of these. All right? See you in the next video. Thanks.